Now this happened over 90 years ago. I do know this, it was the month of August. I know it all began at about 11.30 at night. Does it get dark at 11.30? Well, it sure does on a farm in the middle of Michigan. The family didn't even see that thing coming out of the sky. First thing they saw was suddenly outside looked as bright as the daytime. My mother said it made a huge sound as it roared in and boom, crashed into their yard. She says the house shook and quaked. When they looked out the window to see what had hit their yard, do you know what they saw? Well, you're probably thinking the meteor, but no, that isn't what they first saw. The first thing they saw was a great big hole in the ground. But when the family went out and looked, oh my, my, there it was. A glowing, hissing, steaming, red-hot piece of falling star. Now, my grandpa left it in that crater or hole probably for a few days. You know, meteors come in all the time, but they usually burn up in the atmosphere. If they make it all the way in, they're going to be hot. You can't handle them. So he left it in this crater till it cooled off. Then he called his neighbors over who were farmers, and they brought their shovels and their picks, and they dug around that thing, got it out of the ground, but they let it stay exactly where it slid to a stop. Well, people started coming from everywhere to look at it. I mean, wouldn't you? What's interesting is no one wanted to get very close to it. It made him very nervous. One man did get close to it, and he started the legend you're about to hear because he was the first person ever to walk up and touch it with his bare hand. See, Grandpa and the other farmers, anytime they handled that thing, they were wearing great big thick work gloves. No one touched it with their skin. He did. When he touched it, <gasps> he says, there's some sort of energy in that thing, and it came right into my hand. Well, it's, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not, it, it, well, it's not hurting. But it's tingling. It feels like my hand's asleep. Well, he left the farm that day. Three days, he was back. He was wild with excitement. I took my grandpa out by the meteor and says, Gheorghe, you have something incredible here. My grandfather said, well, of course I do. I've got a falling star. How many people have that in their yards? He says, you don't understand. This does something very mysterious. My grandpa said, what are you talking about? The man said, well, when I was touching it, I was thinking of something I wanted so much to happen. I, I was wishing. That's what I was doing. He said, I touched it, I felt the energy, and I made that wish. And he says, and here's what you're not going to believe. My wish. It really happened. Oh, my grandfather squinted up his eyes and stepped back and said, now just a minute. What on earth would that thing have to do with wishing? The man says, that's just it. It's not from this earth, is it? He was absolutely right. He started telling everybody that would listen. Pretty soon people were coming to my grandpa's farm from everywhere, walking up to that thing, reaching out, touching it, feeling the energy, making their wishes. And in my family, we did exactly the same thing. Do you know what we found out? That thing works. And it still does to this very day.